Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have another beautiful little bob to show you. This is the new style Untold Story by Raquel Welsh in the color Sunlit Chestnut. I think this is just a lovely little bouncy bob and I can't wait to show her to you. Before we start, I wanted to ask if you wouldn't mind subscribing here in the video or down below and we'll get started. All right, so Untold Story is just a, a lovely little bob. You can see she's not very long, but there are some layers. So I did want to show you this style just the way I received it. The only thing I did was change the part and steam her away from my face a little bit up here. Uh, so that she wouldn't flop into my face quite so much. But other than that, I haven't done any styling um, to her, to the fibers. So I did want to show her to you this way, but to tell you the truth, um, I don't, I, I personally prefer a sleeker look and uh, am not a big fan of these flippy ends. Um, my husband actually said that this wig makes me look approachable, which I think is lovely, but I just prefer a little sleeker look. And I think I'm going to take my hot air brush and see if I can relax some of these flipped ends a little bit and some of these bouncy waves um, and create just a little bit of a sleeker, more modern looking style. Um, so we'll do that a little later. You can see she just really wants to create these kind of flips. And what this reminds me of is um, actually Mary Tyler Moore, maybe from the 70s, you know, this kind of a look. Um, so I know that over time also these fibers tend to relax on their own uh, and not flip as much, but I want to achieve that look right now to show you what she's capable of uh, and also style her a bit and whatnot. So we will do that with our hot air brush. But let's take a close look at some of the details. So first, the lace front. Raquel Walsh does wonderful lace fronts, as you probably know. <clears throat> and um, this uh, sunlit chestnut has the, the lighter fibers in the front, as usual. And then we have a wonderful mono top. Here is the part. And I have a little piece of silk underneath to give it that natural scalp appearance. All right, let's take a look at her from all sides. Here she is from the right and the back and the left. Just an absolutely light and fun little bob and I do love bob styles so I'm excited to work with her. Next we'll look at some styling options. We'll look at the cap construction and I'll take her outside. Okay, so I'm a little excited and a little bit afraid at the same time. Uh, I've absolutely been wanting to go ahead and relax this wig a little bit um, as soon as I saw her, as soon as I took her out of the box and put her on. But at the same time, I'm a little afraid that I'm going to uh, change the style and uh, Hopefully we will think that it's an improvement. I feel, uh, you know, the, the saying is very true, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we're just gonna go for it. So here I have my Hot Tools Professional Hot Air Brush, and I'm going to turn it to the high setting, and we're going to keep the brush moving so we don't keep it in any one place for too long. And we'll just do a little bit at a time and see how she reacts. So here we go. You can hear that. I'll start on this side because I feel like this clip is especially noticeable. And I'm just pulling straight through. It is absolutely relaxing already. All right, we'll let that cool. It's a little warm. So we'll move to this side. Do the same thing here, especially to the ends in the front. That's where those flips are. I'm already liking that so much more. Let's take a look and see how we feel about that. You see, it's still bouncy. It's still a full little bob. Looks a little bit longer because we've relaxed it a bit and the flips are definitely less noticeable. So now I feel like I want to do the same thing in the back. Just smooth that out a little and 
kind of curl it under a little bit. So we'll see. I'll, I'll turn around so that you can see. It certainly feels a little sleeker and still bouncy. <laughs> Still a little bit flippy, but not nearly as much. So I'm going to take a look at this and we'll see if we do a little more or if I'm ready to style her. All right, so I did just a little bit more work with my hot air brush and this is what I've achieved. Absolutely a bit of a relaxed style, but still keeping that, that bouncy fun bob that it uh, came as in the box. So I'll show you what I've got going right now. So we have a little bit more relaxed here on this side. I think I'm very happy with how this side turned out and the back seems more relaxed. The one thing that's still bothering me is the flip here. And try as I might, I can't get this to relax and not kind of do this extreme flippy look here. So I'm actually going to cut this a little bit. Now, please, when you're doing this with your own wigs, um, just be very careful. Do a little bit at a time because, of course, once you cut her, uh, you know, this will not grow back. So I have my John Renault comb here. I'll just smooth that down. And I'm just going to cut a little bit at the ends. I did this a lot when I wore uh, John Renault's Cameron um, because she had similar sort of flippy ends. So you can see I'm just pulling it down, straight down, and then angling it a little bit in keeping with the style. And then I will just trim right above that. We can always cut more. All right. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> what a relief. All right, now I really like this little style. I think it suits me, suits my face shape. And you know, every person's face, of course, is different. And a style can either look longer or shorter depending on your dimensions. So for me, this is just what I had to do to achieve um, a style that I like. And it still curves a little bit here, but it doesn't bother me nearly as much and it's not flipping outward. So I think this is very pretty. All right, now let's go ahead and do some styling options. Uh, of course, this is a wonderful wig to tuck and the color is similar to my bio hair that's peeking through there. So, you know, that's absolutely something you can do just during the day when you're working and, and doing your thing. You can do it on this side as well. I kind of prefer doing one at a time. And this is an extended lace front. Um, so you have wonderful coverage again. Uh, into the ear tabs about here to here. So absolutely a great little styling option for this. Uh, you can even do a full tuck. It's, it's so smooth and low density. So then I like doing a little hairband as well with my bob style. So let's try that. Very cute. Also very youthful looking, I feel like, these bobs. And one of the wonderful things about them is that because they're shorter, um, there's no friction against clothes, or much less anyway, depending on what kind of styles you wear. Of course, if you wear um, a collar on your shirt, you'll still get some friction or a jacket. But um, usually it's less friction, and therefore the fibers will last longer, and um, the, the whole wig doesn't need to be... Um, replaced as often. So I love that about these. So next, let's look at the cap construction. So first, I'll remove this piece of silk that I uh, taped on there where I part the wig and I do that to create a natural scalp appearance. So here we have our cap. Um, we have a beautiful extended lace front and you can see it extends all the way I'd say about halfway down the ear tab which is a wonderful extended uh, lace front very generous and uh, provides you with that extra coverage right around there then you have a monofilament top and that allows you to part her center left or right whichever you prefer we have 
soft ear tabs with metal stays. We have an extended nape, and that is also luxurious. Gives you that extra coverage in the nape. Velcro adjusters. And then I wanna mention, um, she is advertised um, as being hand tied, and there are portions, you can see this is hand tied, and on the crown, and again on the side. That's hand tied, but then in the back here, you'd see there are wefts. Um, it's closed, uh, there's, fab there's a material covering it, but there is that wefted portion in the back. So overall, a very comfortable cap. Also, yeah, a little bit, not extremely stretchy. Um, a little bit, and it feels comfortable, but I will say that is not as stretchy as some that I've looked at recently. Um, but really, overall, a wonderful cap with, uh, with wonderful features. Okay, so here we are outside. I wanted to show you this gorgeous color in natural outdoor lighting. Uh, first, let me mention, these are Raquel Welsh's uh, heat-friendly synthetic fibers, the True to Life heat-friendly synthetic fibers. So they can be heat-styled. And the color is Sunlit Chestnut, as I mentioned before. The code combination is RL1012. And it's described as a light chestnut brown, evenly blended with light brown. So it's, it's a very subtle com combination. I feel like it really looks like one color. Very natural, very pretty. Um, let's take a close look. So at the lace front, you see the lighter fibers in the front here. Just perfect. Raquel Walsh does a great job with that. And then we have the monofilament top, the part there. Hope you can see that and see this gorgeous natural brunette color. Let's take a look at her from all sides. Here she is from the right. And the back. And the left. Just a gorgeous color indoor or out. Okay, final thoughts. Untold Story is just a really fun little bouncy bob. Uh, I think it's a, a really sweet and appealing style. Um, and it's all about this eyelash, this sweeping eyelash bang that they advertise. And you can emphasize it, you know, um, you can slick it down a little bit like we did with the hot airbrush, make it a little more of a sleek look. Uh, and also about these little flippy ends. Now it, it has these little flips all over. It has them here in the front and then in the back as well. And you can either flip them out that way or you can try to curl them under. Of course, you can fluff it all up. There's a lot you can do with it. If the flips um, are too much for you and you really prefer a sleeker look, uh, the hot air brush is a good first attempt to kind of tame that a little bit. Uh, if you need to do more, I would suggest using a steamer and um, just slowly and methodically going through and, and relaxing those flips a little bit. Um, and if uh, that fails, then I think as a, a final resort, um, and if you don't mind it being a little bit shorter, you can always trim some of these flips a little bit and they will look less extreme the way we did when we, we trimmed it in the front. So those are some options for altering her a little bit. If, if you like the idea of the style, but it just seems a little too flippy for you, uh, that's what you could do. But just a really fun style and I think it is flirty and bouncy and uh, I, I really do enjoy wearing her. I also like this color, this sunlit chestnut. I think is a very natural uh, brunette color. And even though there are a couple of shades in there, and of course the hairline is so wonderful, um, it, it basically looks like one solid color. And I think it's a very gorgeous um, lighter brunette or medium brunette. So overall, absolutely love this wig, love the color. And uh, I hope you found this helpful um, and informative. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.